All right, so everybody's asking about a video walk around of the uh, man baby temper tantrum. Can't sell it. Let's just wreck the fuck out of this Carnova. You can see right over here on the fender where the guy actually took steel cable and chain and put it through the front marker lamps and actually used it to pull the car in the garage. And I mean, it just, it's like a fucking bear claw just tore through that it's a shame too because otherwise the fenders would be pretty nice and nice paint job and then you got it over here with dipshit hit it with whatever the fuck he did it looks like a sledgehammer looks like a pickaxe it's something it's something he just whammered the shit out of it quarter panels all fucked up but the good news the roof roof a pillars all that shit's good Silly fucker left the seats in it, took the door panels, was nice enough to cut across the dash pad because he didn't want anybody to have any good parts off this ever sheet metal. It is a stick shift car. It's got the pedals. Actually had a real nice instrument cluster in it until he cracked the freaking lens. Tore the headliner out of the car. You can see it's an original dark green car. Filled the back of it full of horse shit and other junk. And then he got kind of like a hissy fit and pulled the vinyl top up. Guy had commitment issues. He couldn't finish the job, apparently. Got back here. Hit the quarter panel again. Then put a ch ch chain or something over here on the freaking rear lip of the trunk area. Which, you know, got lucky. It didn't fuck it up too bad. The tail panel's in pretty good shape he man babied the freaking trunk lid it, it's all fucked up just destroyed that came over here to the other course on the passenger side fucked that all up hit this here but the good news is where you would put a full quarter on is in good shape and you know your pillars are in good shape they're all whacked out of shape it's just he wasn't smart enough to hit it right on the pillars. Hit it there on the door. Come over this fender. Fender's pretty nice. The guy went through the trouble of uh, taking off the cowl and taking out the wiper motor and everything else. and <coughs> Left the headers on it. Started cutting all sorts of other shit. Cut the wiring, cut, cut the wiring bulkhead apart. Left the other shit in there. Left a Nice trailing new battery tray in there. Bent the fucking core support. Which is that's just fucking, that's stupid. But the kicker is, he didn't damage the fucking plastic filler panel. The easiest thing to damage on this car didn't fuck it up. So, as you can see, that is the result of a man-child.